Welcome back. If you're new here, I'm Renee and my partner Will, who's behind the camera today, um, we are Phoenix Curations. We're resellers online and we do it mostly for fun and we have some environmental beliefs and then also we make a little money. Not a lot. Um, so today I want to go through a haul that I did at our lo a local thrift store. It's a charity thrift store. They have a 50 cent per item sale every month and they save up all these big tubs full of clothes and shoes and then uh, people are through there going through all that stuff. Some of it's great, some of it's not, but this time I had pretty good luck. So I'm gonna show you what I got. I haven't comped anything, but I think that what I got is mostly pretty good. And um, maybe we'll come back if you guys want, leave a comment down below and I'll tell you what the comps are on the things that I got. So I'm gonna start first with this little silk top. It has a little butterfly front and it is by Nicole Miller. Artelier by Nicole Miller. Let me see the tag. Yep. And I know Nicole Miller. I don't know the Artelier, but it is silk and it's in good shape and I like the little butterfly crop. So I'm gonna see what that's worth. So I've seen lots of resellers sell these kind of pants with the flannel inside. These are L.L. Bean. Um, I'm not sure if they're vintage or not. They might be. The only thing that really hurts these is they're 40 waist and 30 length, so they might be a little tough. Also, there's some marks on them right here, so I'm going to have to get those out, which I really think that I can. That doesn't look too tough to me, but uh, we'll see. Those are not going to obviously sell probably till next winter, but that's okay. So we talked about trends a lot, and one of the things that was on trend was suede and leather. So I have these uh, camel colored suede pants, and you can see that they have some marks right here from a hanger, and I think that's why no one bought them. But I can use a, a brass brush and some leather cleaner, and I think I can get those marks out. And these are Kenneth Cole, New York, which is higher end than like, the kind of cool reaction that sold at Kohl's. So those are just really cool and I think those will sell well. So next I have a J. Crew Factory, kind of a Hawaiian print. It is new with tags, so originally it was $59.50 and it's in perfect condition. I'm not sure how it got there, but it did and um, yeah, I'm gonna sell it. I think it's also linen. It feels like linen. I can look real quick. It's 55% linen, so it's a linen blend. So then I found some Koi scrubs with kind of a paper bag waist that are new in the package. Um, I've sold used ones for $15, so I don't know exactly what these will get, but um, Koi scrubs are pretty good, so I'm thinking maybe 20 to 25, we'll see. So this was um, kind of guesswork on my part. They feel really good. They're Harper jeans. Harper is a reasonably priced brand. Um, I don't really know how it, how it does, but we're going to look up comps and find out. It has a little ankle zip, and it's just kind of a, a lighter black wash. And I want to say they're skinnies or tapered. So I hear other resellers talk about this brand a lot, and I've never found it before. So this is Theory. I don't know if you can see the tag there. But it's just a little lightweight hoodie. And um, it was made in Hong Kong, so it may, it, it probably is vintage, I would guess. It has a little drawstring waist, which is on trend right now. And this also is a cotton or a cotton linen blend. So it feels really nice. Then I found this one piece swimsuit and it is new with tags. The brand is Anacole Essentials, which I don't know but it retailed for $84 and is new with tags. It still has the hygiene liner in it. 
And it's just a nice basic black suit. It's kind of a modest suit, so I think that it will do well. Uh, I'm, I'm sure I can sell it. I don't know for what. We'll have to check. This, I'm pretty sure, no, this one isn't vintage. So I got this dress for style. Um, it's kind of a, I would say like a pinup silhouette. It has ruffles around the top. It has these pointed collars. It has pointed collars on it. Um, polka dots are on trend. The ruffles are on trend. It has a place for a belt. There's no belt with it. Um, and it has this uh, little tool layer underneath. So I think just based on style that will sell. And if the brand is any good, then uh, it will sell for more. This is Charles Jordan Paris. Now, I could not find any comps about this brand, uh, but it feels really good. And I did find, I think, purses and all the little jewels are there in the um, CJ. So I got it and I'm going to give it a try. I have to do a little more investigation just to see what the value is on that. So this shirt will probably end up in my own personal collection <laughs> because it is an Abbey Road shirt. It is a Beatles product. It's modern. Um, it has a little apple there. And it will be a little bit big for me, but I don't care. Maybe I'll tie it in a knot. I don't know. But I just, I can't get away from a good band shirt. If you don't want it, I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, it probably will fit you better, Will. No, it's a medium. So we'll have to fight over it. Yeah. Um, uh, I want to say that this is vintage and it is just a, um, a Nike headband. If it's not vintage, it is retro, but it reminds me of the Royal Tenenbaums, those big, thick headbands. So I got that. So this is an item that a lady tried to get from me. Um, she was hinting at it, but it's just a, um, a beach cover up. And it's just this beautiful tropical print. Uh, it has a nice feel to it, but I don't think that it's anything special. Island, planet. Oh, it says dry clean only. Oh, it's rayon. Okay, so sometimes rayon has that subtle grab like silk does. But I love the color and the brightness and the flowers. So I got that. This was like the find of the century. And I had several of these. So this is Spanx, and that's Assets by Spanx, which is sold at Target, but it's just Spanx. So Spanx does really well, and it sells fast. I sold a men's undershirt, like, in two days for $30 recently. But I do have some other pieces, too. I promised myself I was going to stop picking up his clothes, but here I am with a Gap Disney collab, and I got not just one, which I think that's 101 Dalmatians and sequins, mm -hmm. but I got two. So I don't know if that's Chip or Dale, but they're the same size. They're both Gap Disney collabs. And I think if I put them together, maybe 20, 25 bucks. Mm -hmm. But if not, I'll take them to consignment. They're just too cute not to get. This is the only pair of shoes that I got there. So these were 50 cents, if you can believe that. I believe they have leather soles. I don't know if they were made in Italy or not. But BP is a brand sold at Nordstrom's. I'm trying to see. Uh, China, made in China. Everything's made in China. And it looks like they are a seven and a half medium width. And they're not in perfect shape. There's a little ding there. I can cover that up a little bit with edge coating. But they'll be great prom shoes for 15 or 20 bucks. And why spend the money on prom shoes? Because you are not going to keep them on all day long anyway. They're for pictures and getting into the place and then they're gone. <laughs> you really should keep some teaks or, or belly flats in your purse. So this is not a brand I know. I'm going to look it up. It's month plus Simpson. And it says something else under that I can't read. But it's European sizing. It is very cute. It has a little bit of uh, gold fleck in it. 
It has these little beads and it ties up. Um, I don't know why they felt the need to put that there, but this is a little gender thing. Um, and it is just has imported size 38 and it is 8% cashmere. So, um, I'm guessing this is a pretty high end garment, whether or not it has resale value. I don't know. I'll have to look it up. So this I know has resale value. This is a fossil purse. Um, it is in very rough shape. I'm going to have to burn all these little strings off. I can glue this back together pretty easily. Um, and if nothing else, the fob is worth something if I can't make it look right. But I really think I can. I think leather conditioner on the strap, on this detail here. It's not filthy inside. It's just got a little boho look. I know there's a trick to make zippers work better. So I'm going to, um, oh, it's a little musky in there. So anyway, I'll probably have to wash this because no one wants a musty purse. So next are just some Banana Republic Avery Fit pants. And they're very, very thin, but I don't really think they've ever been worn or washed. Uh, so I'll have to note that in the listing. And that's the only reason I really got them was because they're they're recent style. So they were made in 2017, which is not that long ago. And it's a nice summer color. So, and they feel like linen. I have to check. Now, this dress is very similar to the other on-trend polka dot dress. And it also has the pointed collar. But it, I'm pretty sure, is vintage. That Nuo's... I can't read it. But anyway, this is very much a vintage looking tag to me. It's paper. It's sewn in the way that it would have been in the probably 80s. It's made of acetate. I don't think that we make a lot of things with acetate and it's made in the USA. So it is a wrap style dress and it also has that sort of pinup quality to it. It's a little longer length, um, but I just loved it. So you know, I'm going to shoot a little bit high with this dress because it's vintage and the other one, unless it's an amazing brand, probably a little less, um, but it feels good. And it's not that cheap rayon that they made um, what is it, in the 90s, I think, were when they made that cheap mm -hmm. rayon. Yeah. This is a nice rayon, an acetate blend. This is a two-piece outfit. So it's a little bit of a thing here to... Put this together so i first found the top and it has this little silver detail across the the um, neckline and then it has almost no back to it and the straps feel super good unfortunately the tag is black and i really cannot read it vidal azrael azul um but it feels very nice and then it has a like a, a midi or knee length skirt to go with it and it also has that same silver edge. And this is the kind of thing that you can throw in your suitcase in a wad. And when you get it out, it's going to look just like it came from the dry cleaners. So that was super cute little outfit. These are probably a mistake. <coughs> I did not find any sweatshirts by, is it Becca Mel? Mm -hmm. um, I found two of these and i also found pants to match but the pants um had some marks on them at 50 cents a piece i thought well i'll try it they're the same size they're the exact same style they're cropped they have these nice stripes so we'll try it if they don't sell in you know a few days we'll probably or a few uh weeks or months we'll probably just get rid of them so here we go again with the Spanx and these really do really well. So it's just a little bodysuit. It has a butt shaper to it. And this is made to wear with your own bra. It gives you some lift. And um, I think it's a size small. Yes. So, but it's, it's very clean. It has a snap crotch to it. And I think whoever bought those just wore them once. 
So this brand I know from shoes. This is Marni. Uh, I've never seen clothing, but it's made in Italy. It feels like silk. I have to verify that. It has this nice gold zipper in the back. It has a little bit of a balloon sleeve to it, which is nice and trendy right now. Um, it is European size 40. And I cannot read the fabric, but it does feel like it's silk or silk blend. This I also got on style and Kato doesn't sell badly for us. It's an XL, um, but I got this for the pointed collar. It has that definite disco look and it has a little bit of a, a puffy sleeve right there. And it's just a beautiful color. So 50 cents, we're gonna give it a try. So these feel brand new. They are Levi's 514. Um, they have a little bit of a different feel to them, but they, they feel quality to me. Um, they are cotton poly blend, so they're newer. But uh, they're an interesting wash and they have this interesting contrast stitching that you don't see a lot. And they're a 3330, which we've sold those odd sizes before. And these pockets are kind of interesting because the flap is just decorative. Um, the pockets are open. But uh, there's no wallet marks or anything in them. And so I'm going to give them a try. For 50 cents, I don't think you can go wrong with Levi's. Nope. I don't know. For whatever reason, Will and I both love L.L. Bean. So this is just an L.L. Bean extra large flannel. It's just some nice woodland colors. It's got a little bit of red to it. And it needs a wash and a steam. Uh, but I think it's in perfect condition. And L.L. Bean in Land's End, that stuff just seems to last forever. Um, I don't know if it's the fabrics they use. This one is Alice and Olivia, which if you have been watching uh, reseller content, you know Alice and Olivia is good. This is just kind of a basic little crop length sweater, so I don't know how good this will do. Um, but Alice plus Olivia can never be bad. And I don't know about the fabric, but it feels very, very, very nice. Fabric is a linen. It's 100% linen. It does not feel like linen, but I guess now that I read that, it looks like linen. It's just very smooth, and sometimes linen is a little bit of grab to it. So this brand I've been warned against by many resellers. Um, and I still did it anyway, but this is Trina Turk and it has this cute little neckline here. So it will have to be modeled or put on the mannequin. Um, I did not notice at the time, but it has this mark here. Um, that looks like ink or some kind of dye. And what I would use to get that off would be like acetone, um, fingernail polish remover and see if it comes out. If it's acid fast. Um, fabric, which I would think it is, then I should be able to use acetone to get that out without destroying the dress. But uh, in any event, 50 cents, we're going to try it. I also cannot stop picking up scarves. <laughs> I don't know why. But this was handmade by Mary E. Brandt, and she has her little tag there, and it's just very soft, and it's just the perfect length to put like under a pea coat. Um, so I got it, but, um, what I really end up doing with most scarves is in the winter when I send packages up North, if I have a lot of scarves, I just throw them in for extra, extra stuff, a little free gift with purchase. So these I wouldn't have got except for they are new with tags and these are just old Navy leggings. They are a size medium and... It doesn't say what they retailed for, but it probably wasn't much, $25. But they're a nice little blue and black check. And I mean, they'll sell for something. And then we have more Spanx. So this is just a cami, a shaping cami. And it is made to smooth the back. 
Um, I can tell that just by the way that the fabric is right there. It's also in great condition. And yeah, I'll take Spanx all day long. And here we have more Spanx. So this is also a full body shaper. It goes under your own bra for some lift. It does have an open crotch, which I don't know exactly how to note that in a listing, but I will figure it out because other people sell them too. I don't think anyone really uses that anyway. So dust covers for purses. I get these every time I find them with stains, with holes, with anything. People will do buy them for something. This specific dust cover is from Furla. It's very big and I've seen them sell for $20 just the bag. Now, it does have stains on it, so I'm going to have to wash it, and it's a nice satin. Um, but if you have a Furla bag, that adds a lot of value to sell with a dust bag, so people will buy them. Now, these were probably not the best idea, but these are two brand new kind of uh, Banana Republic camis, and I'll just sell them together, probably not for much. Um, but they're like brand new and they're the same size. So we'll try it. If not, my daughter will like them. This is a brand I don't pick up, but for 50 cents with the big polka dots I did, and it's just International Com Concepts, INC, and I believe that's a Macy's house brand, but it's just a cute little brown polka dot sweater and we'll see what it happens. Oh. And then I found this right in the bag with the tags. So this is a brand new with tags cup she bathing suit. I don't see anything wrong with it whatsoever. It has all this little strappy stuff in the back. Um, it does not have the price on it, but I can look that up easy enough. It looks like a recent style, uh, size medium. And I think cup she is sold maybe in anthropology i'm not sure i have to look it up hygiene liner intact and it looks like somebody ordered it and then donated it maybe they just didn't like the way it looked and they never got it back to the store so the other things that i got at the bins were um jewelry so I don't know anything about Bakelite, but I do think I probably should check and see if these are Bakelite. So these are, let's see if I can get them up there right. These are just um, clip-on earrings, but they're definitely, I would say, 60s, but very, very, very cute. And they could be Bakelite. Um, they have that kind of look to me, but I am not an expert in any way. So these are probably 80s based on the feel of them, but I think they're meant to look like 50s. Um, they're just like button earrings. This is fabric in the center. They just kind of look kind of like a nice button. Red and white stripes. I don't know if you can see if I'm getting close enough. This is something I'm gonna have to look up because I don't know a thing about it, but it was this this watch and it is made out of wood, which is super interesting to me. It's just links of wood and it looked cheap at first, but then it has that kind of copper color inside and then the clasp is pretty nice. So um, I'm gonna look that up. It's either nothing or it's something. And I got um, some brooches or brooches, brooches. This is like a, an 80s style, um, you would have seen, you know, somebody on Dallas would have worn that up between their big silky shirt. This one is just a Southwestern. Um, the pin on it makes me think that it's vintage or older, but I really don't know that. It's not branded that I can tell. It's just really cute. These I may or may not sell because they have some tarnish on them but they are, that chunky gold is on trend currently, but they're also very, very, very 80s. That little tribal symbol, I can remember that just like yesterday. 
And then there's just a, a cute little enamel dragonfly with some um, rhinestones in it. This also is very 80s. That would have been sort of like the new wave era. Um, it's just a little sunburst. And that's just really pretty. These earrings make me think 70s. They have that kind of bent spoon look to them. They could be early 80s. They're not really expensive, but they just have that look. These earrings could have been any era, but the color of the pearls makes me think that they're older. Um, and they look like decent quality. So I don't know what era those came from, but they're just kind of a nice dressy earring. These, I just like the color. You can find lots and lots and lots of earrings like this, but for 50 cents, that kind of robin's egg blue is really pretty. And there's so many different things that it can go with. These also might be Bakelite. I really don't know, but they are super pretty. They could be modern also. They're just red roses and red rose florals are on trend. So if you really wanted to make a very, very romantic look, you could add those. This is just a little red dress pin. It's tiny and it just has a little heart on it. And I just thought it was really cute. I think she gave that to me for free. And this is a very, very colorful peacock. And I have always liked brooches, so I couldn't let that one go. Now, this could be a mistake, but you don't see these very often anymore. So what this is, is uh, a sweater chain. Mm -hmm. So if you had cardigans, you put it up at the top of your cardigan, hold your sweater together without it being buttoned. So it gives it a looser look. However, it has initials. So I don't know if that will hurt the value of it or not. Um, but in any event, um, I got it anyway. So we'll see. So that was what I got from um, the Humane Society. And then this morning, I just could not help myself but to stop by a garage sale. And the lady there, um, she lived in England so she had a bunch of different things that were from England and so I don't know the brands but I got some stuff anyway and there's this boho handkerchief hem <coughs> I don't know this stu studio JPR I'm gonna look it up um, I would guess that it probably is not super expensive by the feel of it this is made in Italy. So I think clothes that are sold in Italy don't necessarily have brand names. They just say made in Italy and they're bought by style. And so I think this is all linen. I'm not sure about under here. It's kind of stretchy ribbed uh, knit, but the rest of it is all linen and it has this nice crochet detail and this little floral situation here. So definitely needs a wash and a steam. But I think it was worth the, I think she charged me two bucks for all this stuff. This also not a brand that I pick up, Anna, which is a JCPenney uh, department store brand. But this kind of um, pleats are very on trend. And so I could see that with some black leggings and I just got it and want to give it a go based on the style. This I got because of the feel of it is just nice. I don't know what John and Mark are. It looks like a little asymmetrical, um, like mini dress or tunic top. It has a butterfly kind of thing going on here, a faux butterfly. Uh, it looks like it has some pilling there, so I'm gonna have to shave it. And if it doesn't come out good, I will just donate it. But I just wanted to give it a try. This is Max Studio, which I believe is a dilution line of Max Mara. And I just got this for, I think it's Chenille. Um, used to see bedspreads like in the 60s with this um, on it. And it's just super soft. It's reminiscent of crochet, but it's not. 
and also needs a wash and a steam. It's lined, which is kind of nice. And then this is, oh, Mark, Mark and Spencer Portfolio. So I know Velvet by Mark and Spencer. I don't know Portfolio, but I can tell by the quality of this that it's really nice. And I love this kind of folded ribbon detail around the neck. Um, so I'm going to look that up. And I don't know. There's some random shoes in here, so I'll just show you the shoes. These came from Goodwill. They're Clark's Artisan. They're just some leather sneakers They with a ribbon tie. They definitely need cleaned up which we will. I think we bought these. I got these at the bins, I think, because I wanted to show you guys how to clean up the toes. If you look on the toes there, there's some wear, but the bottom is in perfect shape, and they're all those. So um, they're, they're decent. They're not great. They're a popular brand, all those shoes. Um, and I did have to take them in and have them sewn by the cobbler, and he didn't charge me much for that, so I do that regularly. And then these also were from the bins. These are just Kohlheim loafers. And um, I think the sole was split somewhere. And so I had the cobbler glue that back down. And, uh, you know, we need to shine them up, clean them up. But, I'm, yeah, these definitely came from the bins. So they, were, they weren't much. These also came from the bins, and if anyone knows how to clean these, please, please, please let me know. I did contact the artist. Um, these are hand-painted. Uh, obviously, Harry Potter, Marauder's Map. Uh, she sells these for $100 on Etsy, new. And obviously, these do have a little wear on the bottom, so they've been worn. But not bad. Um, but they need cleaned and I'm afraid to ruin the art. So we're going to test it a little bit and see what we can do to get these cleaned. And I just have them stuffed with pool noodles and dish towels to reshape them. And they came around nicely. Now I just got to get them clean. But anyway, so that's my haul. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, please subscribe. Consider su subscribing. Um, Hit the thumbs up, that definitely helps us as we learn and grow. And hit the alarm if you wanna know the next time we upload. And we're trying to upload every week right now. I know Will's gonna do some things on his own with some cleaning videos coming up. And we also have maybe some B&G trading unboxes, unboxings coming up. So anyway, have a great day. Thanks so much.